points and then we get to find out who wins it all. But right now we have KS Tiley going up against Jaren. Very excited to see this match come underway. Two new characters, two strong players with set characters. Let's see how it goes. Oh, see, you got you, you got to remember that poison hurt box. Her her hurt box is just as stupid as the Caffrey's. Oh, nice block from Tyler over here. Drops the combo and Jaren makes some pay for it. Oh, see, he, I don't think he had a. Oh, he got to keep that mix up. I don't think he had a reason to go for that DP right there. And just like that, off of that one DP, it ruined the whole round. All he had to do was stay defensive and just block. What will happen now? Fight! He like, do it all the way. He does have meter advantage, so let's see if he can get off of this. He started out very strong last round, but that desperation DP, he had to eat all those mix up, and he wasn't ready for it. Right. Nice link from Jaren. Has him in the corner. Nice block. Okay, gets the cross up. Ooh, realizes the back dash and walks forward. Realizes the back dash and walks for Oh, and he just keeps Nutri jumping and Jaren dives into a Nutri jump and this is going to be the round for Chaos Tiger. Oh, it wasn't? Oh, it is not. Oh, it is. Okay. But there you go. It all comes down to this. Oh, he drops the link right there. Oh, he catches him. Oh, I think he was trying to go for Stinger after that. It probably was link. Oh, gets the gets the raw jump and up and catches him with a crowd score. Good stuff from Tyler, but he's still in the corner. Oh, uses the EX level Nintendo fireball trap. Oh, wow. He actually got the crumple off of that. Okay, Tali definitely has to be careful. Uh-oh. Mix up City. Oh, catches the back dash. It hit her so low. And gets to confirm into the up stinger and Jaren takes the first game staying resilient right there. Good stuff from Jaren. Great stuff from Jaren. Good job. Good job. All right, so Chaos Tali, it was a close game. Just a few mistakes here and there. Definitely don't you don't want to jump the gun on the DPS too much. And did so much damage. That did so much damage. You hate to lose like that when you have it in the bag. You get hit by Dudley or De or DeCaffrey. And it just does all that damage to you. Or even Yun standing medium punch in the red focus. Alright, so we got game number two on the way. Jaren inches uh, away with the last game victory. See, oh, he almost got a jump in, but the fireball caught 
the back of her. Okay, Tali drops the link. That is punishable. Ah, oh, he should have just jabbed it. Oh, but he gets the full crumple right there. He's standing around House Wrecker. Oh, see, he was ready for the block. Gets thrown. Nice crash medium kick in the hand. Oh, nice neutral jump. Now he could have used the meter to close that out. Oh, but he didn't need it. And he act he finally went for a wake up stinger and it did not auto correct. And Chaos Tally takes it. Round number one. Game two. Nice block. Just jab, confirm, and correct it. Oh, goes for the overhead, but nice block from Jaren. That is the first overhead he went for. So that is amazing awareness. Stays in front. Oh, look at all the damage that was dealt in that short series. Oh, gets it on the other side. Oh, drops the lane. He actually got the, the hit. Oh, catches the whip. Lovely tender. Gets the back throw. Oh, and Tyler used so much meter right there. Oh, misses the punish again. And Jaren is going to advance to the next round. In my finals. And KS Tali, unfortunately, that is a wrap for him. But good stuff making top eight again. But I think he had a few meter usage decisions that kind of costed him. Um, and of course, I don't think he was ready for those damages. So good stuff. So our next match is going to be Broly Legs against Tangent. Broly Legs? What? I know, right? Broly Legs is back on the PXG platform. We miss him. And he is back 